Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Connect Spider video. For those of you that follow the channel, you will recognize these map animations that I do and include in our videos that, of our trips on the spider. I do these maps in Keynote, and if you're interested in learning how to do this, I've done a tutorial on making these maps, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can follow along and see how I do these ones for the spider. Recently, we did a trip down to St. Lucia, and I decided to create a different kind of map animation, and I'm going to show you that in this video. So this map animation is fairly simple. As you can see here, we've just got a map of North America, and we have our little plane up there sitting in Toronto, and then we just animate it down to Florida, which is the first leg. I did this in two separate maps. So now we arrive at the first end of the first map, and then we go into the second map, which takes us from Florida um, over to St. Lucia. The method is much the same as the other maps. This is just a little bit different, and it uses a different background. So the first thing we need, of course, is a map to bring into Keynote. So we're going to do screenshots here, and I'm going to do two screenshots, one of the first leg of the trip, as I showed you before, and one of the second leg of the trip. But I do have to make some adjustments to this. So we're going to go to this layers function, which is going to bring us into the satellite view. And then if we click that again and go into more, we're going to turn off labels because I'm going to add labels uh, in Keynote when I get in there. And I'm going to turn on globe view, which kind of gives you this sort of a globe effect. So we're going to get this positioned and then we're going to close this guy down and we're going to go full screen to give us a bit more real estate to work with. So we've got Toronto up here in the corner. We have got our little part of Florida that we're going to do our first leg to down here. And then we're going to grab a screenshot of this. So we're going to go into screenshot. And we're just going to get our region set to keep us away from as many of those little Google Map things as we can. About like so. Get that out of, out of there. Get as low down as we can without getting those other details in. So that's our first screenshot. So now we're just going to capture that. And then we're going to move the map up. So we've got Florida here and St. Lucia is right down here. And we're going to do another screenshot. That looks pretty good. I'm going to capture that. So now that we've got our two screenshots, we're going to go over to Keynote and uh, start to work on the animation part of this. So the next step in this process is to get into Keynote. So we're going to open up Keynote. We're going to create a new document. We're going to use this 16 by 9 uh, format, just basic white. So we double click on that. And that gives us this screen right here. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of all this stuff because we don't need it. So now we're ready to um, start to insert the screenshots that we took out of Google Maps. I always change this to 75% so I can see the confines of the slide. We then go to Media. We're going to Choose. And we are going to go to our screenshots. That's the first one, and that's the second one. So we'll start with the first one, and we're going to insert that onto the slide. So you can see it's a little um, small right now, so we're just going to expand this out a little bit. just to make sure that it completely covers the, the screen. So that's fine. So we've got our starting point up here in Toronto up in the top corner, and then we've got our ending point down here. So now that we have our screenshot in there, 
The next thing I'm going to do is go over to full screen and I'm going to put a label in, which I already have in the clipboard. And I'm just going to drag that up to where our starting point is. Then we're going to draw a line. And it's called draw with pen. We're going to click on the start point and we're going to drag this line down to right about here and then to end the line we double click. Now you'll notice that that line now has a little dot right in the middle right here and what we're going to do just to make this a little bit more interesting we're going to just give it a bit of a, a bend so it's just not a straight line and that's going to be the line that our plane is going to fly down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to format that line and we're just going to change the color to red so it stands out and then I'm going to increase the size. I find about 8 is a good size. So now we have our line starting in Toronto, ending down near Florida and we've got a nice little curve to it and it's formatted into the thickness that we want it to do. So the next thing we have to do is we have to animate this line. So we want it to draw from Toronto down to its endpoint in Florida. So to do that, we're going to go to Animate. We're going to add an effect, and it's going to be called Line Draw. And you can see it works. I'm going to do this at about 8 seconds. This will be very dependent on what kind of animation you're drawing. For this one, I found that Let's see, even seven seconds. We're going to go start to end. We don't want any easing. We just want it to just go from one end to the other. And now we can just preview it to see how that looks. So that's about the perfect speed right there for this particular animation. Now that our line is drawn and animated, the next thing we have to do is get ourselves an image of a plane. So a PNG file, tons of them up on the internet for free, formatted um, properly with a transparent background. So I am going to bring my PNG file in. There's my plane. First thing we have to do is format this image to remove the background. So format, image, remove background, and then just press done. Then we just have to size it appropriately. Bring it over and go to a range, and then we're just going to rotate this guy until we get it lined up the way we want it to. Just want it to be lined up with the line and then move it back to the beginning. So now we have our airplane in position ready to go. Now we have to animate this plane to cause it to move down the same line as we've drawn on the screen. So we're going to go to animate. We're going to go with the action one highlighted. We're going to add an effect and we're going to choose move. As you can see, it just moves the plane. So now we just grab the middle of that and drag it down to the end of our line. Same thing as when we drew the line. You can see this little white dot appearing in the middle. Just grab that and move it right on top of our other line. So now the plane will move down the line. So we have to make that to be the same size, seven seconds or the same time, sorry, and then preview it. Now the plane flies down the line. If I run this animation again, so you can see the plane flying down the line, but as it gets down the line, it doesn't line up properly. 
So we need to add another action to the plane to cause it to rotate on the way down. So I'll just zoom in here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add an action, rotate. And we need the plane to rotate clockwise on the way down, so we'll change that to clockwise. And then we just need to make a small adjustment to get it properly lined up with the line like so. Change that to seven seconds. Get rid of all this acceleration. Let's go back to 100%. And we have one last thing to do to make all of these three animations work together. So we have to go up to the build order. So we have the first build is the line draw, the second build is the uh, movement of the plane, and the third build is the rotation of the plane. So we select these two and we say start with build one, select this one, start with build one, and then we can preview it. Now we have a nice smooth animation. All of the three animations are working together. Now that we have our first slide completed, it's time to add a second slide to this keynote presentation um, so we can show the second map. So we're gonna get rid of the build order here and go over here to this section and we're going to go right click new slide and we're going to get rid of this again we're going to go to choose media pick up our second map and insert it same as before we're going to resize it so it fills the slide so in this second slide, the plane is going to fly from the edge of Florida here down to St. Lucia, which is right here. So I'm not going to show the, all the steps for the animation again because it's exactly the same as the first slide. So now I'm going to go on to showing how to export these slides to movies so they can be used in your video editing software, whatever you use. Um, I happen to use DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you the effect that I created using these maps after we get them exported. So we're going to go on to exporting these slides now. To do the export, we just go to File, Export to, and we're going to select a movie. This brings up this little screen right here. There's a lot of choices here, and but I've found the best settings that work for me. So we're going to export these two slides individually. You can export them together as one movie, but depending on your application of this, it can vary whether you want one or all of them together. I have used both in certain uh, videos that I've done in the past, but in this application, we're doing each slide separately. So I found that we just need two seconds here and that just gives you a kind of a, a beginning and an end of the slide that you can kind of trim a bit in your video editing software. I've played around with a lot of these different settings down here, um, but I've found that just a good old 1080p um, gives you a video. When you start to go into some of the other choices that they give you here, the video files can become very, very large. So 1080p gives you a clear enough video for this purpose and the file is not huge. So two seconds here, two seconds there, and 1080p, and we want to go from one to one. And then we go next. It's going to ask us where we want to export it to. Um, this will be fine right here, and we just export the file. So after we finish that slide, we would go on to the second slide and do exactly the same process and export that out um, with the same settings. After you finish the export, 
Um, I'm just in the in my desktop here with the finder up and that's the file that we just exported. I renamed it to be called map one movie. I like to do that and that keeps the the images and the movies all organized so you can go back if you have to later to fix them. So we're just going to have a look at what it what it created. So you can open this up in QuickTime and we're just going to hit play. and then you'll see the plane flying down. And this is what's going to end up in your video editing software. And you can see there's a little bit of a delay at the start. Um, and that's that two seconds that we put in um, in the last part of the presentation. So we're now inside of DaVinci Resolve, the editing software that I use for creating the videos. And uh, you're looking at the beginning of the sequence that I use these maps in. So it starts off with this view out of the plane window, um, and then I'm just going to let this run. You can see what happens. So you're going along, and then the map comes in. You can still see through the map at the plane engine on the outside. And then once it gets to the second map, it transitions over as we're flying in towards St. Lucia. And then the video um, goes to the landing at St. Lucia. So that's how I use those uh, flying map animations um, and this video. As always, if you think you like the content in the channel, you might want to consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you get reminded when we release a new video. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.